गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू स्टेटिस्टिक चैप्टर नंबर वन प्रोबेबिलिटी पार्ट वन इन दैट एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट वन ओके नाउ सी इट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन स्टेट द सैम्पल स्पेस ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रैंडम एक्सपेरिमेंट इन दैट फर्स्ट अ बैलेंस कॉइन इज थ्रोन थ्री टाइम्स ओके नाउ वॉट दे आर टेलिंग अ कॉइन इज बीन थ्रोन थ्री टाइम्स सो यर वी आर राइटिंग question number 1 in that coin one time coin two time and coin three time okay now in coin which two sides are available h and t that is head and tail same way here h and t head and tail and here also h and t head and tail now what they are telling three time a coin is been thrown so first we will be doing of two time only we will be doing of two time coins okay so that what it will be happen they have said to find the sample space so therefore the sample space is what it will be first with hh then with hd means it can happen that there can be had two times okay in a sample space then if we are throwing next time then it will be head and tail now that we have done now next with th so that will be th or it can be tt so here tt this we have done for two times okay now for the three times what we will be telling it therefore sample space for three coin now this whole bracket we are multiplying with this particular term two times first you have done now third time we will be doing with this head and head will be multiplying with head so what it will be head head and head same way head and tail multiplying with head so head tail head now tail and head will be multiplying with h means all this four terms will be multiplying first with h then second with t so it will be t h h then t t h this we have done with h now multiplying it by t so h h multiplying by t so that will be h h and t then the next h t multiplying with t so that will be h t t then third t h multiplying by t so that will be t h t and the last tail multiplying by tail so that will be triple tail so here what is the sample space of the three coin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight eight sample space we got for the three coin so sample space is denoted by u is that clear so this is your first one now the second one now next what in the first question only they are telling a balance drive with six sides and a balance coin are tossed together now what they are telling first for die a dice is there in there dice is been thrown six uh, with six sides so 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is for the dice now next for the coin so coin is only having two that is head and tail now thrown together diced are tossed together so what will be the particular sample space for it so therefore sample space of a die and coin tossed to gather so that will be what first one will be multiplied by h and t then two will be multiplied by h and t three will be multiplied by h and t four will be multiplied by h and t five will be multiplied by h and t six will be multiplied by h and t so here we will be doing first one head 
then two had three had four had five had six had now the turn is coming for tail one tail two tail three tail four tail five tail and six tail so this is the sample space of a dice and a coin thrown or tossed together is that clear now third they are telling two person are to be selected from five person that is a b c d and e only two person we have to select so here with the next sum number 1 third one what is the five person name person they have given that is a b c d and e so any two person we have to select so first we are taking a with a we will be taking this all people see here sample space of selecting two person from five person that is it can be first we are taking a with a we can take b with a b can come okay or with a we can say take c or with a we can take d or with a we can take e this we have done a is done now there is a turn of b ignore a now we have selected for a now b with b c can come a is been done totally so b a will not come okay ignore it this is now not there we have selected the particular term now b so this is there b d will come and b e will come again b is been done ignore this two now we will be taking c c can also come c d or c e this we have taken okay two people then c e done then the next c is also done now d itself alone now after that there is none of the other person so here we are stopping with this so there is a possibility of that that a can come with this four people b can come with this three people c can come with this two people and d can come with only one people so two person can be selected in this particular way in the sample space is that clear so here we have completed our sum number 1 now getting to sum number 2 what is the sum number 2 telling write the sample space for the marks in integers scored by students appearing for an examination of 100 mark and state the number of sample point in it we have to only state the number of sample point not sample space in sum number 1 what we have found sample space point only we have to state how many points are there 5 4 3 like that so only sample point we have to specify so here what they have given sample space a student is getting any of the marks that is up till 100 so here sample space is like this u equals to marks marks can be from 0 a person a student can get 0 also 0 1 2 3 up till any of the z is per student can get 100 also so here what they are asking they are asking the samples point therefore sample point is what is a sample point 100 is there overall number 100 is there but zero is not included in 100 so what it will be 100 plus zero the sample point is 101 is that clear 1 to 100 if we are counting total number comes to 100 but in that zero is not included when we are adding zero in 100 that sample point comes to what 101 sample point means like this a student is getting zero mark then one mark then two mark like this go on up till 100 so when you are counting like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 so overall the sample point will be 
one so this is only the answer for question number two now question number three write the sample space for randomly selecting one minister and one deputy minister from four person now what they are telling we have to write the sample space related to one minister and one deputy minister from four person so four person four person can be four person we are taking they can be a b c and d now what they are telling one minister and one deputy minister we have to select like this so we can give them a name that can be b or that can be c that can be uh, c that can be d like this so now we are selecting suppose if we are making a as a minister so with a there can be b there can be c and there can be d so here we are writing the sample space when we are beginning with the first person that is a a selected to be a minister so here what will be the particular sample space a b okay then a b we have taken now a c and a d okay a b a c and a d this we have taken now we are done with a now we are taking b in the first place as a minister so with that a deputy can be a c and d so here again a b a c and b d sorry b a b c and b d first we have taken what this like this we have taken a as a minister so with minister b can be deputy minister c can be deputy minister and d can be deputy minister like that only here in a first place we have taken b as a minister so a can be deputy minister c can be deputy minister and d can be so here what will be for b b a b c and b d like this now for c c as a minister so a can be deputy minister b can be deputy minister and d can be deputy minister so c a c b c d so here c a c b and c d same way last d as a deputy uh, d as a minister so a can be deputy minister b can be deputy minister and c can be deputy minister so d a d b and d c so here d a d b and d c so how many sample space can may, uh, can be done for selecting two person as one minister and deputy minister so there is a sample space related to 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 in 12 ways we can select minister and deputy minister from four person is that clear now coming to question number four now we are coming to question number four a balanced coin is thrown in a random experiment till the first head is obtained now what they are telling first head means head should come in that each and every particular whenever whenever we are throwing a dice the head should only come like this the experiment should be done the experiment is terminated with a trial of first head when they have started the experiment in that they have decided that there will be first head write the sample space of this experiment and state whether it is finite or infinite finite means as per the particular number what we are assuming like that it is coming or infinite that it is uncountable it can come many times so what the saying here it comes what will be the sample space of this particular sum the sample space they have said that the trial has been started by h first when we are throwing a dice h is coming okay like that we have to decide then next what had happened that there can come th also as you go on throwing and throwing 
th can also come means first we are throwing it one time so h when two time so th then three time it can happen that head is not occurring only we cannot say when the head is coming or when the tail is coming like that so it can happen that it can be tail tail then head then again tail 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 then had four time then again five time tail 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 then had it is coming like this we go on thinking like that only that might it happen that had is not occurring only because we are not decided we doesn't know that when we are throwing the particular coin had comes over here here we have written h because at it is being specified in the question that in the first trial the head is coming now it may happen that in the second trial tail is not coming head is not coming so we have started with tail one time thrown head two time thrown th three time thrown tth then four time thrown tttth then five time thrown tttth like this it will go on we cannot decide it so here what we can say if we know it is said to be finite if we don't know it it is said to be infinite so here the sample space is what it is an infinite sample space here you have to write you have to specify that this is infinite sample space is that clear now the fifth question write the sample space for the experiment of randomly selecting the number from the first five natural number we are selecting a number from the first five natural number okay so we have to write the sample speed selecting three numbers in first so your first five natural number can be first five natural number they have given one two three four and five and they have said what we have to select three numbers so we can select like this one two three one two three then we can skip three and we can take one two four then we can skip four then we can take one two five like this it can happen then same way next we have begin with two now we will begin with three one three four we will erase two then one three five it can happen this now we are beginning with four so that is what one four five here we have done with one the beginning we have done with one now we are taking with two so with two what it will be one is done so ignore one two three four then two four five like this we can take okay then again two three five is remaining so two three five like this it is done then the next with two three five we have done so ignore this also now three three four five now we have to take three also we have done none other numbers are remaining now four five we cannot take because we have to make a sample space related with three numbers so here we have done with one now here we are doing with two and here we have done with three see remember here we have done with one one two three then one two three one two four five then one two five like this then we have start with three one three four one three five like this then here we have begin with one four five means well related to one we have completed then we have started with two then we have started with three so we can't start with four and five here three numbers are been done so this is the sample space of selecting three numbers for three uh, selecting three numbers from the first five natural number is that clear now coming to some number six what is sum number 6 telling to us the sample space of a random experiment of selecting a number u that is 1 2 3 up till so on 20 write the set showing the following events so here we have to they have given the sample space to us only we have to do the work as per the particular term which they have given so here sum number 6 okay what sample space they have given u u is said to be a sample space they have given 1 2 3 so on up till 20 like this okay now in that the first thing what we have to do select number is odd the selected number in the first thing the selected 
number is odd this we have to do so here selected number is odd what it is to be said it so here we begin with that selected number is odd okay from 1 to 20 whichever number is coming that should be odd so that can be starting with 1 can 1 is odd 3 is odd 5 will be odd 7 will be odd 9 will be odd 11 will be odd 13 will be odd 15 will be odd 17 will be odd and 19 will be odd so up till 20 these are the numbers which are said to be odd so this is the sample space of a selected number that is odd now b what they are telling the selected number is divisible by 3 okay what they are telling the selected number is divisible by 3 it should be divided by 3 so which numbers are being divi divisible by 3 we can take a table of uh, 3 that the number which will be divisible by 3 that is u 3 1s are 3 3 2s are 6 3 3s are 9 3 4s are 12 3 5s are 15 3 6 are 18 then 3 6 are 18 3 7s are 21 these are the numbers bigger than 20 we want up till only 20 so here our particular sample space is over these are the numbers which are divisible by 3 now next c what is the c third question the selected number is divisible by 2 or 3 now here the selected number is divisible by 2 or 3 ok so we know about 3 that are which number this number now which are the number that is divisible by 2 so that we can write related to this are we are we are writing related to 2 by 3 we know so why 2 what it is 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 2 3s are 6 2 4s are 8 2 5s are 10 2 6 are 12 2 7s are 14 then 2 8s are 16 2 9s are 18 and 2 10s are 20 these are the particular numbers now related to 3 what are the numbers the numbers are 3 6 9 12 15 and 18 these are the numbers over here now what they are telling we have to only write the numbers which are divisible by 2 and 3 so that is what coming 2 and 3 So here the next question is coming that uh, one family is selected from the families having two children. The sex male or female of the children from this family is noted. State the sample space of this experiment and write the sets showing the following events. Event A, one child is female. Event 2, at least one child is a female. Now here first what they have said, one family they have selected. So sample space U for one family. Now in that family how many children are there? Two children. So we can define that two children, both the children can be female. Okay. Then next they have said why we are writing that uh, particular thing because they have mentioned it that it should be male or female of the children from this family is noted we have to mention their gender we have to mention their sex whether they are male or female so they can be female female they can be female and male 
okay then what it can be male and male okay or it can be male and female like this okay so here we have done now first what event they are telling event a1 that one child is female any one child should be female so we can take a sample space of that female male and male female like this it can happen second b what they are telling a2 at least one child is a female at least please note here at least means one or more than one okay at least means one or more than one what they are telling that it should be female so what we can take at least one means we can take this female male we can take male female or one or more than one so it can be happen female female both okay but it cannot happen male male at least one they have said means one or more than one it may happen that both are female is that clear so this is your question for question number 7 now question number 8 two six faced balanced dice are thrown simultaneously state the sample space of this so here state the sample space of this random experiment and hands write the set showing the following events in that first event what they are telling the sum of the dice uh, the sum of the number on the dice is 7 now first thing here remember sum sum means total okay total we have to take so here what will be the particular particular sample space of sum number 8 what they are telling two six face dice okay two six face dice are there so in a dice sample space we have taken that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 now 2 it is okay means what will be the sample space for them one we are taking with two only so one and two then it can happen with we are taking two like this one two three four five six so one will be multiplied with all this term so first one one sorry for writing this one two then next One two, then next one three, then next one four, then next one five, and then the last one six. Same way with two, two one, two will be multiplied with all this bracket. Then two two, two three, two four, two five. And two six. Same way next with three, three one, three two, three three, three four, three five, and three six. Same way with four, four one, four two. Four three, four four, four five and four six. Now five, five one, five two, five three, five four, five five and five six. Then six. Six one, six two, six three, six four, six five and six six. Your overall thirty six sample point will be there. Okay, when you will be doing the counting. Now in that first, what they are telling, event one a one that they are telling. the sum of numbers on the dice is 7 that should be 
there that the dice is having a total of seven means here whatever uh, in this particular bracket if the total is coming seven one plus one is two we won't be taking that we have to take that particular point which is giving the total seven so here four plus one is six five plus one is also six four plus one five and five plus one is also six so here what we will be taking six plus one that is seven so same way here one in this one plus six that comes to seven total so here u equals to when we are taking one then six one plus six that is seven then the next year what that is the total five plus two two plus five that is seven then same way three three plus three six three plus four seven then next four plus three will be seven okay then five plus two will be seven okay then six plus one will be seven one thing you have to remember the first three terms are there the reverse of that next terms will be coming so total one two three four five six six sample point you will be getting in this particular event a then the next b event two what they are telling the sum of the numbers of the dice is less than four now we have to take the sum total less than four the sum of numbers on the dice is less than 4 means it should be less than 4 not 4 also but less than 4 so here u equals to we can take 1 1 we can take 1 2 we won't be taking 1 3 they are bigger then we can take 2 1 we won't be taking 2 3 then we cannot take 3 1 also not 4 1 also not 5 1 also not 6 1 also so this is only the 3 sample point over here okay then we will be taking the third what it is event 3 they are telling the sum of numbers on the dice is divisible by 3 the sum total again the sum of numbers on the dice is divisible by 3 the total which is coming that should div divided by 3 so what that particular you will be coming So here your unit uh, event 3 what it is the sum of the numbers on the dice is divisible by 3 so that can be first we will be writing the particular table of 3 so that is 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12. So in that in that what we will be taking it will be up till 12 only not more than 12 so here we will be taking only the particular term which has been giving the total of 3 6 9 or 12 so that can be like this if we want the total of 3 first we will be going in one line that is 1 plus 2 that is 3 then 1 plus 5 that is giving the total of 6 then 6 plus 1 that is 7 so it won't be possible then coming to 2 so 2 plus 1 that is giving the total 3 then uh, 2 plus 3 5 comes so here 2 plus 4 is giving the total of 6 then uh, 6 7 8 5 6 7 we won't be taking that then again coming to 3 3 plus 1 4 3 plus 2 5 3 plus 3 is giving the total of 6 then 3 plus 4 7 5 plus 3 8 3 plus 6 that is giving the total 9 so we will be taking this okay then same way going to 4 4 plus 1 5 it is coming 4 plus 2 is giving the total 6 then uh, 4 plus 5 is giving the total of 9 4 plus 6 10 10 won't be possible in table of uh, this 3 5 plus 1 is giving the total of 6 then 
फाइव प्लस थ्री एट फाइव प्लस फोर इज गिविंग द टोटल ऑफ नाइन ओके देन इट इज़ इलेवन देन कमिंग टू नेक्स्ट लास्ट सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन इट इज़ कमिंग टू वोन बी टेकिंग सिक्स प्लस थ्री इज गिविंग द टोटल ऑफ नाइन एंड देन टेन इलेवन देन सिक्स प्लस सिक्स इज गिविंग द टोटल ऑफ ट्वेल्व सो यर आर द पर्टिकुलर टोटल नंबर विच आर बीन डिविजिबल बाय थ्री ओके देन इवेंट फोर वॉट दे आर टेलिंग द सम ऑफ नंबर्स ऑन द डाइज इज मोर दैन ट्वेल्व द सम ऑफ नंबर्स ऑन द डाइज इज मोर दैन ट्वेल्व सो विच आर दैट नंबर विच आर मोर दैन ट्वेल्व लास्ट नंबर वी हैव सो दैट लास्ट नंबर इज ओनली सिक्स प्लस सिक्स दैट इज ट्वेल्व नन अदर नंबर्स आर देयर विच आर मोर दैन ट्वेल्व सो यर वॉट वी विल बी राइटिंग इन द डी इवेंट फोर वॉट दे वर टेलिंग द सम ऑफ नंबर्स ऑन द डाइस इज मोर दैन ट्वेल्व सो देर आर नॉट सच काइंड ऑफ एनी नंबर सो दैट इज अ नल सेट नो नंबर्स आर देयर विच कैन बी मोर दैन ट्वेल्व सो दैट इज नल सेट ओके नाउ कमिंग टू अवर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन two numbers are selected at a random from the first five natural number the sum of two selected number is at least 6 is denoted by event a and sum of two selected number is even is denoted by event b write the set showing the following event and answer the given question here they have answered you have they are asking the particular answer so here first of all we will write the sample space what it is they are telling so in sum number 9 what they have said two numbers are to be selected we have to select how many numbers two numbers from what first five natural numbers so here we can get two numbers means choice selection so one thing we have to remember we all have done in 12th sta 11th standard permutation and combination so five numbers from that we have to select any two numbers now what they have given the sample space two numbers first five natural number 1 2 3 4 5 these are the first five natural number coming here okay now in that what it is the particular term what will be the particular term that will be coming this is given over here now we will be writing in the point so it can be two we have to select we have to select two okay so here we can take first one with two then one with three then one with four and one with five then we are coming with two two with three two with four and two with five then we are coming with three with four and three with five and the last four with five this can be our next sample space this was for only one person selecting now this are for the two person when we are selecting the sample space is given here okay now what they are telling event a should be given that the sum of the two selected number is at least 6 is denoted by event a now here we will be taking that total should be coming 6 that should be given event a so event a what was the thing that the sum of two selected number is at least at least means the particular number or more than that at least 6 or more than 6 okay so here at least 6 or more than 6 so we can take 1 plus 5 6 or more than 6 then uh, 2 plus 4 even 2 plus 5 take 6 or more than 6 then 3 plus 4 3 plus 5 also we can take and even we can take 4 plus 5 this is for event a they are said to be event a okay now event b what they are telling the sum of the two selected number is even the sum of selected 
टू नंबर इज इवन द आंसर शुड कम इवन ओके सो वॉट इट कैन बी फॉर देम दिस वॉज फॉर ए नाउ फॉर बी वॉट इट इज टू प्लस वन कम्स थ्री सो दैट इज नॉट इवन वन प्लस थ्री कम्स टू फोर सो दिस इज सेट टू बी इवन दैन नॉट इवन दैन वन प्लस फाइव दैट कम्स टू सिक्स सो इवन टू प्लस फोर कम टू सिक्स इवन फाइव प्लस टू दैट कम्स टू सेवन नॉट इवन थ्री प्लस फोर दैट इज नॉट इवन थ्री प्लस फाइव कम्स टू एट दैट इज इवन एंड फोर प्लस फाइव दैट इज नाइन दैट इज नॉट इवन सो ओनली वन टू थ्री फोर दिस आर द पर्टिकुलर इवेंट बी ओके अप टिल यर वी हैव डन नाउ सी यर नेक्स्ट वॉट दे आर आस्किंग दैट यू सो यू वी हैव डिफाइंड वॉट इज अ यू दिस इज योर यू दिस वन फॉर द टू पॉइंट फॉर द टू पर्सन द यू विल बी दिस वन ओके दिस इज योर यू द नेक्स्ट ए ए वी हैव डन दिस इज आर ए द नेक्स्ट बी दे आर आस्किंग सो दिस इज आर बी नाउ फोर्थ वॉट दे आर आस्किंग ए यूनियन बी यूनियन मीन्स टेक ऑल so what is a union b a is what we have to write okay everything 1 5 then 2 4 2 5 3 4 3 5 4 this is what a union now coming to b 1 3 One five, two four, and three five. Union means we have to take all. If they are repeating, we won't be writing them again. So, A union B answer is one five. Okay, one five. This we have taken. Then two four is also there. Then two five. then 3 4 then 3 5 then 4 5 whatever number we have written they are coming 1 3 that is not there so we will be writing 1 3 1 5 is there 2 4 is there 3 5 is there 1 3 was not there so we have added so this is your answer of a union b is that clear same way next they are asking the next one a intersection b intersection means same okay so same way here a is what we will be writing all the a numbers that is what 1 5 then 2 4 2 5 3 4 3 and 4 5 intersection event b numbers that is 1 3 15 and 3 5 so we have to take here i have written of a and now b intersection intersection means same number we will be writing okay so same numbers are what One five is said to be same. This one five we will take. One five we will take. Two four we will take because they are same. So two four we have taken. Three five. So three five. So this is only your A intersection B. Now A dash. A dash. A dash means what? U minus A. A dash means what? U minus A. Whatever the U is given from that minus A. So here we won't be writing again. We can write A dash. We can draw the Venn diagram also here. This is our U. Okay. Now what they have said in that uh, event is there A. Now whatever the point are coming in this U. we will subtract them and the remaining will be said to be a a dash okay so u already we have written here this is our u now what is a 
this is our a from this what are the numbers we will be not taking we can make it here i can explain you direct also you can do so what is the u 1.5 is there so 1.5 subtracted 2 by 4 subtracted 2 by 5 subtracted 3 by 4 subtracted 3 by 5 subtracted and 4 by 5 subtracted 4 by 5 subtracted now whatever underlining i have done they are been subtracted now what i have not done where i have not done the underlining they are the answer so a dash is what 1 2 One three, one four, one five, one five. I have subtracted. Sorry, two three. That is what two three. So our a dash is what one two, one three, one four, and two three. Rest of all are subtracted. You can write here like that also. Okay. Now the next two. What they have asked. A minus B, same way like here also. You have you can write. I'll be showing you. You have to write. A is what? One five, two four, two five, three four, three five, four five. Okay, these are A. Minus same way B, one three, one five, two four, and three five. Ahead of the sum also you will be doing like this only. Now I am subtracting one five, one five, then two four, two four, two five is not there. Okay, then one three was also not there. Three four is also not there. Three five. Three five. So what is your answer of a minus b? What does left? So a minus b is two five three four four five and one three. This is your particular answer of a minus b. Now the last. A dash intersection B, not the last. Sorry, what it is? A dash intersection B. A dash. What is A dash? One two, one three, one four, two three. Intersection B. That is one three, one five, two four, and three five. we have to take the intersection intersection means same one so what is the same one only 1.13 and 13 is the same so a dash intersect b dash is only what 1 3 a dash intersect b is that clear now the next is question 9 can it be said that the event a and b are mutually exclusive give reason A and B mutually means intersection. Okay, mutually exclusive means intersection. So when we are doing the intersection of A and B, are they mutually exclusive? Intersection when we are doing in mutually exclusive, the answer should be A intersect B. That should come zero, null set. Is it coming null set? No. The numbers are coming over there. So here, what we can give the reason that they are not mutually exclusive, as a intersection B is not a null set. A intersection B comes to this particular answer. So here, what we will be writing? No. Event A and B are not mutually. exclusive why as a intersection b equals to it should be null set but it is not a null set is that clear 
this was your question 9 now last question 10 state the number of sample point and sample space of this uh, random experiment now we will be we are taking this sample space original this was for only one person this are for two person this is for one person and this all are for two person so basically we are doing for two so how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 how many sample points are there 10 sample points is that clear so this is our question number 9 then question 10 going to sum number 10 what it was three female employees and two male employees are working in an office what is there three female employees and two male employees okay they are working in an office one employee is selected from the employee of this office for the training the event that the employee selected for the training is a female is denoted by a and event of that employee is male is denoted by b find the sex showing that the following event and answers the given question so and so answers are given over there now what they are telling three female and two male okay among them what we have to select one employee is it clear three female and two male so we can represent female one female 2 female 3 male 1 male 2 so first question what they are telling you first is what sample space we have to define so sample space is female 1 female 2 female 3 male 1 and male 2 this first question we have done second question what was a represent a so for a what they have said that the employee selected for the training is female is denoted by a so a will be representation of the female f1 f2 f3 and for b what they are telling even that this employee is male is denoted by b so in third b so that is male 1 and male 2 is that clear this is the particular thing for the three question now next what they are telling fourth point a union b we have to do so what is a f1 f2 f3 union union means take all m1 m2 so union answer f1 F two, F three, M one, and M two. This is the answer for fourth. Fifth, what they are telling? A intersection B. So A intersection B we have to do. So what it will be? A is F one, F two, F three, intersection M one, M two. intersection means same anyone is same here no one so what is the answer null set nothing okay then next what they are telling sixth fifth we have done sixth a dash intersection b dash so in that first we have to find a dash okay so what is a dash first a dash is u minus a so what is u u is f1 F two, F three, M one, M two minus A is what? F one, F two, and F three. So what is A dash? A dash is M one and M two. This is A dash. Now doing A dash intersection B. So they are same. M one. M two intersection B same M one M two so same intersection that is what M one and M two this is so this is A intersection 
B. Okay. Now, seventh. Seventh, what the question they are telling? Can it be said that the event A and B are mutually exclusive? Give reason. Mutually exclusive means null set. A intersection B equal should be null set. So here see we have done A intersection B. What it is coming? Null set. So yes. What it is? A intersection B equals to null set. So yes, we can say it is mutually exclusive. Okay. Then eighth, eighth question, eight point. What it is? Can it be said that the event A and B are exhaustive? Give reason. Event A and B exhaustive means A union B should be U sample space and sample space should always be equal to one. So here we can see that A union B should be equal to one and this should be equal to coming one. So we see A is what female one, female two. female 3 union b is what male 1 male 2 so this comes to you it is same female 1 female 2 union means take all so this is same exactly like you okay also we can say that it is coming to one only the value should come one all are coming means equal one so yes we can say event a and b are exhaustive event exhaustive event okay is that clear this is the thing so here we have completed sum number 10 now sum number 11 one card is randomly drawn from a pack of 52 cards if drawing a spade is denoted by event a and drawing a card from x to 10 means from ikka a to 10 they are denoted by b then write the sets of the showing following event u a b a union b a intersection b and b dash so here same how many cards in a pack there are 52 cards from this 52 cards we have to select one card one card selected okay so sample space what will be the sample space of this particular thing u first point first thing what they have said u so u comes to what spade is there okay in a 52 there will be four types of card heart spade diamond and club so first we will begin with heart hk hk means heart king okay then hq queen then hj joker then ha ikka then it begins with 2 then so on up till h 10 same way after h h means heart then spade sk sq sj sa s2 so on up till s 10 same way then club club k club q club j club a club 2 so on up till club 10 then the last that is diamond diamond k diamond q diamond j diamond a diamond 2 up till diamond 10 52 cards are selected like this okay so this is our sample space second a what they have said a should be about spade so we will be taking the line of spade that this sk sq sj sa s2 okay then up till s 10 this is our spade then third they have said to find b so b is said to be uh, that is from x to 10 so that will be of all so here b so that will be from ikka that is h a h2 up till h 10 then also s a s2 up till s 10 then the next will be uh, club a 
club two up till club ten then d a d two up till d ten so this is our event b now next they have said to find a union b what is the next one a union b so we will be finding fourth a union b so here a is this and b is this means all over the event b will be coming if we are writing that is simple okay that now you must have understood union means take all so a is what sk sq sj sa s2 up till s10 union that is h a h2 up till h10 then s a s2 up till s10 then c a c2 up till c10 then d a d2 up till d10 so all the thing will come that is what s k s q s j s a s2 up till s10 this line we won't be writing because s a s2 s10 is included in this then h a h2 up till h10 then c a c2 up till c10 then d a d2 up till d 10 this is a union b okay then the next fifth a intersection b so which are the similar that we will be taking okay so a intersection b in this you can identify from here which will be similar only that is s a s2 up till s10 so i am not writing that again you will be doing by yourself so a intersection b is what s a s2 up till s10 this is your a intersection b then sixth what they are telling b dash b dash means u minus b so u minus b u is including all this this is u minus b this all term from here this all term are minus so what we will be hk hq hj sk sq sj ck cq cj dk dq dj this is the b dash answer okay so here b dash is what hk hq hj then after that spade spade sk sq sj then ck cq cj and dk dq and dj this is b dash okay now the next sum number 12 here we have completed sum number 11 now sum number 12 the event a1 and a2 of the random experiment are as follow find the set showing that the union event a1 union a2 and intersection event a1 intersect a2 now what they have said we have to find a1 union a2 and the next a1 intersection a2 now first what they have said a1 is what that x that is 0 less than x less than 5 means the value of x is what that is 0 will not be coming 1 2 3 4 if equal sign is there then only we will be taking 4 over there same way for a2 what they are telling x that is minus 1 less than x that is less than 3 x is an integer means minus 1 is there so we will start from what minus 1 they have given after minus 1 0 1 2 okay 2 will up till 2 3 won't be coming if equal sign is there we can include 3 so here we have to find first they have said a1 union a2 so a1 is 1 2 3 4 union a2 is 0 1 2 so all we have to include so a1 union a2 is what 0 1 2 3 4 and 4. this is simple then 2 a1 intersection 
a2 so that is also simple 2 3 4 intersect 0 1 2 similar number so similar is what 1 and 2 so this is a intersection b that is your answer that is a a1 intersection a2 that is 1 and 2 only here the sum gets over simple it is then 13 sum number 13 what it is the event a1 and a2 of the random experiment are as follow find the sets of the showing event a1 union a2 and intersection a1 intersection a2 here now the term is coming when i used to say same we have to find a1 union a2 and a1 intersection a2 now first that a1 what they are telling a1 that is x that is 2 less than equal to x less than 6 x belongs to n now here equal sign they have given means we will be including 2 here we have not included 0 and here we won't be including 6 also if this equal sign is coming means that number is to be included so here 2 3 4 and 5 here equal sign is not there so means 6 is not included in it okay a2 for a2 what 3 less than x less than 9 so here we will be writing 4 5 6 7 and 8 9 won't be including so here a1 union a2 a1 is 2 3 4 5 that is union 4 5 6 7 8 similar all numbers so that is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is a union b then a1 intersection a2 2 3 4 5 intersect 4 5 6 7 8 similar number only we have to take so similar number is only 4 and 5 these two numbers are only there rest of other numbers in intersection we won't be taking okay then sum number 14 what is sum number 14 telling to us the sample space u of a random experiment and its event a are defined as follow find the complementary event a dash of a we have to find a dash so a dash is what u minus a here they have given the value of u here they have given the value of 2 the value of u is what 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and here the value of a is what 2 4 5 6 means subtraction of this the remaining number are said to be a dash so only here you have to write u they have specified 0 1 2 3 so on up till 10 a also they have given that is what in the question 3 2 4 and 6 so that is 2 4 and 6 complementary event they have said means we have to find a dash means what it is u minus a so u is 0 1 2 3 so on up till 10 minus 2 4 and 6 so what are a dash a dash is 0 1 then uh, 3 then 4 won't be coming 5 6 won't be coming 7 up till that 10 that is the particular answer that is what a 10 9 so this is what a dash now 15 last the sample space of a u of a random experiment and its event a are defined as follow find the complementary event a dash of a that is given over here okay u u have they have given what 0 to 1 a what they have given half equal to 1 1 is not coming only half is there so here you have to understand it by one of the graph which i am telling you you what they have said that is 0 and 1 okay and a what they have said that is only half okay now how you can understand it there is your scale we are taking one scale okay in this scale this is said to be 0 and this is said to be 1 and this is what one and a half of this part now what they are telling this is all what this is your u okay now among them what they are telling that this particular part half to 1 this part half to 1 that is said to be a okay now what will be a1 you can identify the picture only only they have said half so this particular part 
this particular part is said to be a dash so how to write a dash like a1 only a dash equals to x sub 0 less than x less than half is that clear your x it is coming so x then half is that clear so this is our sum number 15 and here we are completing exercise 1.1 thank you